Okay, just a quick update on the turtle deck and the little glove box. Um, I'll tell you ahead of time, I have a really bad sinus infection that turned into a cold. Um, I'm on antibiotics for it. It's just if I can get through this video without coughing, it would be kind of a miracle. Um, so let me try to make this fast, okay? Um, so this turned out pretty good. I'm going to leave it, leave it uh, screwed in while I do some sanding on it. Um, one thing... <coughs> Oh God damn! What one thing that I did I didn't I didn't mention was I put little washers behind the tabs. I did that so I had an out. Um, I did I did trial fit the stabilizer, but in case I wanted to bump that a little bit, um, I put those in there as a buffer, and I put them in here and here too because I figured I knew I wanted a glove box, okay, and. I knew this was going to be tight for that stabilizer, but I didn't know what I was going to do with this hole and I'm still like undecided, but I'm going to go, I'm going to build a cubby here. Okay. And then I'm going to take veneer and go over this to, because I'm going to put a bottom piece through here and that's going to tie it in. Um, and so those little washers, when I pull them out, gives, it gives me the room for that thin veneer. That's all that was. I was just trying to think ahead. Um, so I thought, well, how am I going to, you know, oh, I'm going to sneeze on. Ah, oh, good. So I got I want to build a glove box in here. And, it, you know, I can't have much weight, obviously, in here. And there's not much room. I want to be able to get maybe a small shirt, a headset, a wallet, just a couple things, right? Um. I've been working on, let's just, just go to a different part. So I have a lot of motorcycles and shit that I deal with. This is a race fender for the Harley over there. So I cut the ass end off that Harley and, and all this was is me practicing fiberglass. So this is molds I made and um, this is one hand. So this is a race fender. This is a cafe seat gonna go in. This gets cut and it goes into the tire. But anyhow, that's a, that's my mold, okay? And this here was my plug. Okay, that's kind of what the outside of the fender looks like. Okay, so that was, that's practice for an idea I have because I want to build a plug and make a super lightweight glove box. This is my idea. It basically looks like this. So it's, I'm, I got to build a plug, I'm very new to fiberglass, okay, so this is an experiment, but I build a plug of the glove box, it's gonna have a flange, it's gonna go in, It's gonna, there's gonna be a headrest back here, it'll disappear, it'll cover it, I think it's gonna be pretty cool. This little guy is a little extra room that drops in, so it's sort of like it's gonna be a multi-piece mold, which I could have done this in a one-piece mold, but I wanted to build a multi-piece mold because I had never done it. So, this was my practice, okay? So, because I know that this is going to be very three-dimensional, and, and, and this is going to have a hole in it here. Oh, there's a bar here, right? So, I'm going to have a little triangle to go deep here, keep it close to the seat, which keeps any objects that are even sort of heavy. And when I say heavy, I mean not real heavy, right? Like, I could drop a headset in this little cubby, and then the rest of this is just for like a lightweight shirt or lightweight jacket. That's my plan. And it's going to come across here, maybe, I don't know, maybe halfway. There's no point in going this way. You know, I, I'm not going to, obviously, obviously, I'm not going to travel across the country with this on a weekly basis. So it's just enough to get to a show, have, have a couple of things that I would need because there's clearly no room here. So... That's my plan. Um, I think I'm gonna do that next because this did not take long. Um, I had a guy help me that's a taxidermist and he, he owns, he owns, well, I think he has in, a, in the United States, the most fish molds in taxidermy in the country, which probably means the world. And he's a good friend of mine and he's next to my shop. So I get to use all this shit. He just taught me a whole bunch of things. You wouldn't believe how these molds are made. They're very non-typical. Like when you look up fiberglass videos, 
Nothing he did was similar. You would like, like this pink stuff is Bondo. He showed me, it's just so, so crazy how taxidermists think to be quick and dirty and fast and hard. And so he taught me a couple tricks that I just blew my mind. So I made this mold knowing that I kind of wanted to do that. So that's my plan. Um, yeah, that's it. So sand these down. I got to like make this flush, right? Um, put a little, little chamfer on there and sand, start sanding this. Get this smooth. I got to work this, right? So it's nice. Um, again, I'm just easing back into the building again with some woodwork, maybe a little fiberglass thing, get that thing done. And then I'll probably start hitting the metal. Start fabricating and welding again. Uh, in order to do the fairing strips, I got to build the door. I got to build other things. That fairing that comes out here, those channels I got to bend so I can get that fairing lined up. Uh, gas tank straps. I mean, it's, all, it's just all sorts of things. So cool. And then on that tail, right? The whole tail I built, right? Well, I still got to do, you know, the wires, the support wires. I got to figure that out that come through here. I got to finish that fin. So it's getting there. So uh, there you go. So that's it. Have a good uh, have a good week.